Okay, so today's class, we are going to start with the third unit of the year, okay? We are going to start with the third unit. So this unit is called art, or the art, okay? And as you can see, we are going to talk about art and different expressions of art. So, So as always, we are going to start with the class rules. Uh, so first of all, I the we have the same rules as always. So once you enter the chat, please write your name and your grade. Be respect respectful and be nice to your classmates. All the microphones will be muted, okay? And if you have any doubt, please ask it on the chat or orally, okay? Eh, chicos, desde hoy en adelante voy a tener siempre los micrófonos abiertos, así que el que quiera hacer alguna pregunta, acotación, eh, que sea, que precise la acotación a, a lo que estemos hablando, ¿ya? So, let's move on. So, today's objective eh, for the class will be to recognize the importance of art through the different eh, forms to express themselves, ¿ok? So we are going to talk about art in general, okay? So, um, okay. So the first thing that we are going to do is that you have to go to uh, menti.com, okay? Go to menti.com and put this code, okay? Vamos a responder una preguntita en menti. Así que les pido que vayan para allá. Okay, so let's go to menti.com and please write this code. Y escriban este código, 863804-8638-04. Okay, so we are going to change the screen to... Um, Okay, so go to menti.com and use the code 863804. Le voy a escribir el código en el chat. That's the code. So, first of all, we are going to answer this question, okay? Vamos a responder esta pregunta. So, what's art for you? ¿Qué es lo que es arte para ti? What's art for you? You can either use English or Spanish, or you can use Spanglish, okay? But I want you to write your answer. Vamos, chicos, uniéndose a menti.com y escriben el código. El código es 863804. Okay, the first answer, a way to express feeling. Excellent. I like that, that answer. Let's, le, let's move on. Start joining the, the Menti guys. Vamos uniéndose al Menti, chicos. So we have one answer and we are 34. I'm waiting for most of you. Vamos a esperar por un poquito más de compañeros. Solo tenemos una respuesta.
So what's art for you? ¿Qué es lo que es arte para ti? It's something explosive that lasts few seconds to the spectator and can be the beauty. For me, art is expressing the emotions that you feel on each moment in different ways. Okay, excellent. Uh, you're meeting beautiful and creative and not anyone can do it. Okay. Who else? We have four people. Tenemos cuatro personas. ¿Qué pasa con el resto? So we can have more answers. So here we don't have a, a correct answer. So you can go ahead and, and say whatever you want. Okay. Any other answer? Alguna otra respuesta? Okay, so uh, as you can say here, uh, thanks to, okay, so here we have another one. Uh, a way to express the feelings. Excellent, excellent. So we can agree, podemos estar de acuerdo, we can agree that we use art to express our feelings, our emotions, okay? And I agree with that. So I want to tell you that we don't have a specific definition for art, okay? No hay una definición específica para definir el arte. So we can talk about expressing feeling, expressing emotions, and we can do it in different ways, okay? Um, creo que el Benja había levantado la mano. Yes or no? Okay, so we are going to move on. So thank you for those who answer. Now I have another question for you. Sorry. Um, yes, I have another question for you. The next question says, what art forms do you know? ¿Qué formas de artes conocen? What Art forms do you know? What art forms do you know? ¿Qué formas de arte conocen ustedes? O de expresar el arte. Okay, theater and drawing, excellent. What else? Profe, eh, yo no puedo entrar a menti.com, así que se lo, se lo escribí en privado yeah. sobre el tema de, para mí que es el arte. Okay, genial. Sí, se lo leí, Benja. Para los que no puedan entrar a Menti, lo escriben en el chat también, ¿ya? Para que participen todos. Ok, so we have drawing and theater and the rest. So... Ok, mar martial, no, mixed martial arts. Ok, so abstract. Okay, art abstracto. I like it. Okay, so we have dance, literature, architecture. What else?
Any other answers? So in the chat we have drawing, um, painting. Okay, so we have like a, a good group of of different uh, art forms, okay? So now we are going to go back to the PowerPoint presentation, okay? And, and uh, here we have it. Now we are going to watch a video that talks about, sorry, talks about art, okay? So I want you to pay attention to this short video Okay. So, can you see the video? Can you see the image of the video? Se ve el video, chicos. Can you see the video? Yes. Okay. So let's watch the video. Okay. Uh, it's a short video, so it won't take you too much time. Okay. So uh, here we go. Art. When we hear that word, some of our minds jump to museums or framed paintings. And in that context, some people think, nah, I'm not a big fan of art. I just don't get it. Or they think of art as something that's just for intellectuals or artsy people. But really, art is for anyone who wants to experience it. And it's often in more places than we might realize. Songs you like, movies you watch, poems, theater, even a quilt that your grandmother made. All of that and more is art. So you might be wondering, well, then what is art? How do I define it? Well, that's tough. Art's been around for thousands of years, and through the ages it's evolved in a number of different ways. And the reasons for creating it vary from person to person depending on any number of factors. So defining art is pretty tricky, and it's something that's been debated throughout history. There just isn't one agreed upon definition. However, many believe that art is anything that stirs emotion in you. Now, the emotions that get stirred up depend entirely on your own history, your story, everything that comes together to make up who you are. And because of this, three different people can experience the same piece of art and have wildly different reactions to it. One person might think it's the most beautiful thing they've ever seen, the second person might hate it, and the third might not feel much of anything at all. And none of them would be wrong. Everyone's entitled to their own preferences and feelings when it comes to art. You know, the way you feel about your favorite song could be the same way that someone else feels about their favorite sculpture. And even though you might not like that sculpture, it can be valuable to consider why that person enjoys it so much. You may learn something about them and maybe even yourself. The term art is really just a label. Over the years, a lot of people have tried to classify what it is or what it isn't, but that's not really what art is about. It's about your personal experience with it and the meaning that you draw from it. Everyone reacts to art differently and has the potential to grow and learn from it. It gives us the opportunity to tell stories, record history, and tap into our emotions in a way that few other things can. Goodwill Community Foundation creating. So, did you understand the video? Lo entendieron? Era muy rápido. Lograron captar algunas ideas? Did you understand the video? Where you agree with some of the the statements that they they say? So, should we play it again? Lo vemos de nuevo? You can answer on the chat. Sí. Yes, okay. So, we are going to watch the video again. We are going to watch the video again. So, we are going to stop in several parts, okay? 
Art. When we hear that word, some of our minds jump to museums or framed paintings. And in that context, some people think, nah, I'm not a big fan of art. I just don't get it. So, that has happened to you? ¿Eso le ha pasado a ustedes? Decir que I am not a big fan of art or I just don't get it, que no la entiendo. Yes, no. Okay, someone says yes. Okay. Or they think of art as something that's just for intellectuals or artsy people. But really, art is for anyone who wants to experience it. And it's often in more places than you might realize. Songs you like, movies you watch, poems, theater, even a quilt that your grandmother made. All of that and more is art. So you might be wondering, well, then what is art? So as we mentioned before, we can consider, consider that everything that we do can be art, okay? If you want to express yourself. How do I define it? Well, that's tough. Art's been around for thousands of years, and through the ages, it's evolved in a number of different ways. And the reasons for creating it vary from person to person, depending on any number of factors. So defining art is pretty tricky, and it's something that's been debated throughout history. There just isn't one agreed upon definition. However, so the other important factor is that we don't have a, a specific definition for art, okay? You can define it as you want it. Okay. However, many believe that art is anything that stirs emotion in you. Now, the emotions that get stirred up depend entirely on your own history, your story, everything that comes together to make up who you are. And because of this, three different people can experience the same piece of art and have wildly different reactions to it. One person might think it's the most beautiful thing they've ever seen, the second person might hate it, and the third might not feel much of anything at all. And none of them would be wrong. And also, the emotions that you feel towards any expression of art can vary from person to person. Que la expresión o lo que lo haga sentir puede variar entre persona y persona. Lo importante, the important thing is that you value that opinion. Ya, lo importante es escuchar esa opinión, valorar esa opinión y quizás así aprender aprender de la otra persona. Perfecto. Uh, everyone... al, al, al principio de esta parte dice algunas personas podrían odiar ir. Sí. Mira, espérame, déjame volver atrás. Oh, espérame, espérame, renovar. Ah, espérame un poquito. No sé qué pasó. Eh, Todavía se ve la, el YouTube, ¿cierto? Ah, uh, yes. Sí, mira. Eh, here. And none of them would be heard, might not seen. The second person might hate it. And the third... So, yes. So, as the speaker says, como lo dice el, el, el hablante, the first person will, will be like, o sea, will like it. The second will hate it. And the third will be like, okay, I don't mind. And everything will be correct. Cualquier opinión acerca del arte estará correcta. Obviamente hecha de una forma políticamente correcta y con respeto. Third might not feel much of anything at all. And none of them would be wrong. Everyone's entitled to their own preferences and feelings when it comes to art. You know, the way you feel about your favorite song could be the same way that someone else feels about their favorite sculpture. And even though you might not like that sculpture, it can be valuable to consider why that person enjoys it so much. You may learn something about them and maybe even yourself. The term art is really just a label. Over the years, a lot of people have tried to classify what it is or what it isn't, but that's not really what art is about. It's about your personal experience with it and the meaning that you draw from it. Everyone reacts to art differently and has the potential to grow and learn from it. It gives us the opportunity to tell stories, record history, 
and tap into our emotions in a way that few other things can. Okay. So, uh, did you like the video or, or, or it was too boring? ¿Le gustó o era, o era un poco aburrido o muy rápido? What do you think about no, the video? No, estaba bueno, solamente que de repente estaba muy rápido y no alcanzaba a leer bien. Okay, okay, yes, it was too fast, but because I choose to, to show that one, because in that way we train our listening, okay, así entrenamos el listening. But that's the idea of showing it with subtitles, okay? So, in general terms, the video talk about art and how it can make you feel, how it's defined, and some aspects of art, okay? So, let's continue. So, as the, the speaker mentioned, we have different art forms, okay? We have different art forms. So, can you tell me, apart from the ones that we, we saw before, or, or, I mean, can you identify the following art forms? Pueden identificar las siguientes formas de arte, the following art forms. So, the, this is the first one. What do you think is that? In English, of course. What can it be? ¿Qué es lo que puede ser eso? Mapa conceptual. Sorry? I couldn't hear well. So what's that? ¿Qué, ¿Qué es eso? Disculpa? Construction. Okay, a construction, a building, okay, but more specific. Any idea? No? Okay, so we can say that this is a sculpture, okay, una escultura, sculpture. So, and this one belongs to the Rapanuis people, to Easter Island. Okay, let's go with the next one. This one, what is it? Art. Okay, but specific, be specific. What type of art? Because Picture. we... Okay, a painting. Excellent, a painting. Una pintura, painting. The next one, what is this? What's this? Theatris? Theatris? Excellent, the theater. The theater, okay, el teatro. Well done, Benjamin. Let's move on. This one, what does it refer? Okay, books, excellent. But what else? A specific, be a specific. We are talking about books, stories, anything that comes to your mind? Empieza con la letra L, this definition. It starts with the letter L. Any idea? No? So, Monse, you were close. It was literature, okay? Literature. So here we can find books, uh, mainly, mainly books related to stories, poetry, whatever you want to say. So the next one, this is also an art form. This is also an art form. Dance. dance, excellent, Monse and Meja, well done. So dancing, dancing is also a art form, okay? The next one. The next one, so what is it referred to? Movie. Okay, movies. Any other answer? Any 
any other movie answer? Geek. Okay, movie it was correct, teacher. but we can say movies or films. Yes, yes. Okay, excellent. The next one. What is it? And this is another way, or I mean another art form. Cartoons, excellent, Lucas, cartoons. So I want to make a, a, a clarification before we continue. When we talk about cartoons, we can talk about cartoons, uh, anime, uh, animated films in, like in 3D, but anything related to cartoons, okay? Esto se relaciona por lo general con eh, el anime también y con las eh, animaciones 3D con ese tipo de películas, okay? O de animaciones o de series, ya para que lo tengan claro. And the last one is that one. What is that? What art form yeah, is that one? Sorry? Graffiti. Excellent. So we have graffitis. Okay. And this one was taken from Chile, as you can see. So we can have many, 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 many uh, art forms. Okay. Podemos tener muchos tipos de, uh, de arte. So we can use sculpture, painting, theaters. We can uh, look up for literature. We can dance, films, cartoons, graffitis, whatever you want. Even we can uh, add songs, uh, poetry. What else? Um, I don't know. There are a lot of ways to express art, okay? And in order to sum up, uh, to finish the class, I want you to answer uh, these questions. So, which art form did you like the most? ¿Cuál forma de arte le gusta más? Y ahora sí quiero verlos participar en el chat. Which art form did you like the most? Dance, okay. What else? The rest of the class. El resto de la clase. Pictures, okay. Excellent, Benja. Cartoons. Let's see some. Let's see more answers. So, which art form did you like the most? ¿Cuál le gusta más de las que vimos? Anime, excellent. Anime, literature, film. Okay, excellent. So let's answer the second question. So painting, literature, okay, well done. So the question number two says, which art form would you use to express yourself? ¿Cuál de todas estas usarían ustedes para expresarse? Para expresar algo que quieren. Which art form will, would you use to express yourself? Mi forma de, de expresarme sería como a través de la pintura, o sea, me refiero de, de pintura. ¿Por qué? Porque como así puedo como dibujar y repensar, de, representar, no sé, pues el odio, la felicidad, la ira, la tristeza, la vergüenza. Pues puedes dibujar y decir, mira, este es lo que hice y este es el sentimiento que yo tengo ahora mismo. Excelente, excelente, Benjamín. Thank you very much. And the rest, which art form would you use to express yourself? ¿Qué forma de, qué expresión? Okay, literature, excellent. Excellent, so you will use mainly uh, literature. Yes, I like that one. It's easier to, to express yourself maybe. And the third question, is there I mean, can you give your own art definition with that with all that we have seen? Pueden dar su definición de arte con todo lo que hemos visto. Can you give your own definition of art? 
You can write it on the chat, please. To express emotions, excellent. And the rest, uh, what? Ah, can you give your own definition of art? Puedes dar tu definición de arte. Can you give your own definition of art? Uh, a way to express and interpret uh, everything around you, whatever, uh, whatever way you want. Excellent definition. I really like that. It's only or mainly to express yourself. Okay. If you like art, if you enjoy art and you want to express yourself, do it. Okay. Just do it as the meme. And finally, and you can say yes or no to this question. Are you interested in art? Are you interested in art? Are you interested in art? ¿Les están interesados en el arte? Cualquiera hace a su forma, pero en el arte. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So thank you for your participation. I hope that next week, next week, we can have like more participation from you. But anyways, thank you for coming and see you next week. Okay. So bye bye and take care.